new brackets are on and then I'll be mounting the spring brake chambers in just a little bit. Those threads look pretty good, like it'll come off. Yeah. You get them broke. They were preserved under enough grease and yeah, oil yeah. that we're good to go. So Dave stopped by here to give us a hand today and he's got dug right into some really messy stuff here. <laughs> 10 minutes, hands were dirty. <laughs> uh, we're removing this brake chamber here. We've just about got it ready to come off. Are all the bolts off now? Yep. We've got this rubber boot on this side here. We need to hold him. Okay. Course not. Well, I was gonna say I can. Yeah, I can that's cut, fine. I can cut down to there, and then come into that, and then we can round it up with a grinder. Yep. Yeah, that's good. to curve I think. <laughs> That's it. I, I was twisting it the whole time. a little test run here. I've got the adapter ring on there, get the hole cut out. We're going to just swing it into place and see how things go. Make sure that there's nothing. So when we go to do it, it could just be done. I might have to make some adjustments. Now's the time for us to learn. So Kelly's going to film this while we try to temporarily swing this in place. Uh, me and uh, Dave here. Dave's a YouTube uh, viewer who stopped by to help us out today. Hey. <laughs> he has built a home built helicopter that's got a turbine engine that powers it cool single seat single seat cool sports car yeah. <laughs> i can't remember but yeah i think this has to get in there before i come up over the bumper in and then down i believe is the way we did it never put yourself underneath of it in case that chain or bolt lets yeah. go you know, not scratch the bumper or lance will beat us silly Will it clear that? Yeah. I think it will. Look at that. <laughs> At least the painting part. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, now we can come back. Looks like it's just going to have to start going up now. There's going to be a little problem with that modulator down there. I think we can put it turned about like that. So above that. You want to go ahead and pump it up a little bit. Right. So the modulator is that little air nipple sticking out the side there. That's going to see that up higher than that metal. It's pretty good. I'm going to start kicking in a little bit here. 
the hose. Okay, hey, don't scratch my <laughs> bumper, Mr. Transmission. Just a little higher to clear this. No, you look good there. Hang on. Um, all right, I want to take this hose off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab uh, probably about like an inch and an eighth or something like that. Let's try that. Much bigger, inch and a quarter. That was nice. I was a little worried about how tight that was going to be with it pivoting on the chain. <laughs> You're rubbing down at the bottom down here. There's a pipe or something or I where it hooks I knew up. that thing was going to be in the way. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Um, it's got to go up a little bit anyways. We're not, we're not there. So go ahead and pump up. Keep coming. A little bit more. Go ahead and go one more. Right there. Yep, that is going to be a big problem down there. I mentioned the lance that we're probably gonna have to redesign that. That's the dipstick tube. And it's so large on here, usually it's just a little fitting. Are we, we are, well, we gotta go that way a little bit more still, but that's still gonna screw us down there. Edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lance. <laughs> Just so you know, oh, hey, that part wasn't in the video. The jack. Yep, you're hitting the jack down there. Oh, shit. Okay. Which that can come out of there then. But at least you know you need to remove that pipe. Yeah. Well, I had mentioned that earlier <laughs> that I thought it was going to be a problem. So, if, if we back it back out, we can put that leg on the other side. I think we'll be all right. And that jack really isn't even doing anything. Um, that was just there as a safety while I was working on that other side. Um, there might be a little tension on it right now, but in a minute I can let it down. Okay, so the transmission dipstick needs to be redesigned. But, will it go over it? Because we've got five inches to go. I don't think we have two inches, or an inch of height to go before we hit like the alternator, do we? How much room is between the alternator? Uh, it's showing right here. Yeah, right there. So, I got about three quarters of an inch up there, maybe. Yeah, because it'll scoot in, so that, that'll clear all of that. That'll clear the pump. The... Alright, let me take this. You just want to pull it out and go on the other side of it? Yeah, let's pull, we'll pull it out enough to get that jack out from under there, and then we'll...
All right. Come on. So much easier without an input <laughs> shaft on it. Love. <laughs> <laughs> when the input shaft's there, that's a little bit harder. But yeah, we're uh, we're not a hundred percent level this way, but that's no big deal. Once we'll be able to get bolts started and stuff, I can actually. So they like that support beam with it where it's at is going to be an issue. I'm going to check on that. Fail to. bottom's about an inch away, so it's not level on there, but that's not a big deal at this point. Once we get a couple of bolts, yeah. Yeah, that was great. pressure. <laughs> that didn't come out of me. No air is coming out of me. <laughs> so let's take a look at the drive shaft and see how that angle is going to be. That looks a little off to me. Here's Tyler. He's got our parts. You actually put it in the trunk? Yeah, where the hell do you think I put it? <laughs> in the back seat, so you have to lift it so high. I might have just gotten dirty. But that would have torn up the back seat. Yeah, see, that is a totally different shape, by though. Yeah, also, getting it from your driveway with car pulled in straight, not backed up, because you know, the trunk's lower, it took everything me and Anthony had to lift it from the ground into the back of the car. Yeah, I knew that. I thought that one was bigger. Yeah, it's a lot heavier, too. Yeah. Scott, watch your back. Yeah, you gotta stand it up on it. <laughs> you need me to stand it up for you? Yes, because that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's, it's stuck down yeah, in let, there. Let the young one do it. Watch your fingers. Okay, let's get a bar through it. Let's get, it's gonna get my big break. Yeah, big breaker bar. I also give dad credit for being able to lose this in the garage. And that is one nice chunk of steel. So you gotta move it. <clears throat> like a nice like grinder base. This thing is ridiculous, right? That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so if a few of us grab like both sides. You wanna grab the yep. uh, Tyler, you're gonna have to be on this side too. We're gonna have to split it here. Ready? We're just gonna set it to here, okay? okay. One, two, three. Oh, no, set it down. It smashed my fingers. <laughs> That's vaguely the problem we ran into removing. Why don't you just go get the engine hoist and tell you? It's already using the engine hoist right now, <laughs> otherwise I would consider that. Uh, let's get a board. <laughs> How much does that thing weigh? I have no idea. Two of us had a fun time getting in the car. 
That's impressive. All right, ready? Got gloves. Yeah, we're this thing the same level, okay? Mm -hmm. We're just bringing it up to here, by the way, okay? One, two, three. Okay. Perfect. Now, we're taking it down to the ground, just like this. Ready? Go. Yeah. Two, Perfect. <laughs> and no emergency room trips. Yet. All right, so it took us about eight hours, I think. <laughs> and we finally got the transmission to pretty much some mount flush up against. Um, it's, it's a little bit away right now, but just push a little harder. There you go. Yeah, it goes. And we had to remove the pan. We're gonna move the dipstick on it because it was gonna hit there. Um, yeah, we got everything notched out in the back the way we needed to. It was close. It, it didn't want to mess around, man. Um, but that is, you can let go. <laughs> Dave is a master with the sawzall and the grinder and the cutoff wheel. You're gonna have aluminum dust all over you tonight. So that is just a test fit. There's nothing, no guts are in it right now. So we gotta load the flywheel and get everything going, but we're that much closer. The, the transmission does now fit in the bus. Uh, a drive shaft fitting on the end of it may be a whole other story. <laughs> this is the way it goes in. That, no, it doesn't. This is exactly how it goes in the bus. Yeah, so this needs to flip towards me. Just this way. That's, yeah, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> he said the other way though, right? <laughs> I was thinking like this. But if we did this, it was gonna make it higher. It's gonna make it unstable being on top of that. And then you guys are really gonna have to balance and play with it. Okay, but I don't think this is gonna go high enough then. I was trying to get the extra four inches. It's gonna go high enough to get to the lip. Okay. If not, take it down, do it again. I, I just think you're going to get some stability issues being up on top of that. And if it slides, go for it. Okay. Center it up. Bent. The, the back. Push it in. The jacket. Yeah, yeah, the back of it's been. Okay. I noticed yesterday that we not off. Push it. push it more that direction so we can get up in the air where right where we want to be. Like push the nose that way. Yeah. Oh, we gotta take that ring off. Hold on. That ring's gotta come off. Oh. I'll just, there's two of them in here. I'll just put you just put, yep, that's perfect. Back to one. <laughs> well, it's gonna go down. It's heavy as hell, so let's all try to put it. What do we want to do with it? Try I don't know. The jack is wedged in. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's pull it back out a little bit. All right, now. Let's let the jack down. Down. Which way do we want to go? Just let, let the down. jack down. Yeah, slowly. Remember, it's gonna let this release quick. Okay. 
Sorry. Right there, right at it. <laughs> Piece of wood. I can hold it on the other side, or you can hold it, you know, lift it out of there. Once it's on there, it ain't going nowhere. How is this piece of wood side. right here? It's a longer piece. Is that gonna? Yeah, let me get that. You got a hold of it. You got balance? Yeah. Is the wood strong enough? Yeah, the wood is plenty strong. slide when you get all that weight on all this grease like it just did and slide in and break your leg. Well I'm gonna be pushing on to keep it away from that. That's why I put that on there so it kinda Yeah <laughs> deflection. Oh, got your wood toe boot. <laughs> um is this really what we want to do? We're gonna do this? You make me nervous Scott. Yep. Well I, I got a pretty good lifting angle here just to, we're just gonna slide it here. We're not lifting it up yet we're just sliding it to there is that right? Okay. Watch your fingers ready? <laughs> oh, 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 we're hitting right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. So, you could put two pieces of core, uh, bet we could use uh, that big strap right there. We could put two straps around, and then we have more lifting power. Uh, there's your pry bar coming this way a little bit more. Knock off the jack, though. Oh, move the jack that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The whole thing. Oh, here's Tim. He's strength of three of us. Yeah, I'm keeping it center on whatever whatever it is there. I could use your. Here comes. Here comes the beef. Huh? Oh, he needs to be right where I'm at. Tim will probably just. Remember Matt Mosley? Mosley, look at this fucker right here. What's wrong with you pussies? <laughs> comes the ox in sandals. Just get it down. <laughs> it needs to be lifted up in there and then we have to stand on end. 
is slippery as hell. It is. All right, so we're, which way? we're going this way? No, no we're, we're just going to slide up here the way it is to there. It's only balanced on its jet, so be careful. All right, I got the set. Nobody's got the back. Oh, you want to move your hands to the other side? Should we just stand it up? I don't trust that wood. Yeah. Okay. Slide. Okay, so off there on it. The wood's moving, so be careful. I'll Which way it. does this have to go? The teeth this way? No, the teeth go up against that. Oh, okay. But you're just wanting to get it a little closer so we put this up here. I got the wood. Okay. Walk it up. Hang on, what are we doing? Why don't we move the wood and just pick it up? No. No, it's it's <laughs> just too heavy. The, the wood, we're going to need the wood there. So when you stand it up. But we can't stand it. We can't just roll it right now. Just stand it up. Why don't we put I don't Jack know. here? I don't know that you can, Scott, because of what's sticking up right there. I think if you try to just... A bottle Jack here. We don't have any left. That might be in use. Okay, so hang on. I actually have a tool to do this. It's just it's broken. But it'll take a little bit to fix it. Two more pieces on top of that. Well, if we want to get the 4x4 under it, let's huh? take it up higher even more. I'll put more wood. Oh, okay. okay. Like one here and one there, so there's three legged instead of two. No, Wait, ne so two next to each other, right like that. Yeah, where's the four by four we're putting under it? Ready, right coming down. Yep, okay. slowly. So, knock over the you like this better. Tim, you like this six by six better? Yeah, huh? Side of it that needs to be shorter. We're, we're okay there. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Let's say it's centered. It's, it's on it. It's a little off center right now. Alright. Which Hold on. you're not balanced. Hold on. This is some sketch. Why don't we put Six by six under this board here, so we don't have to worry about it snapping down too far. All right. Put something else on top of it. Then. Yeah, four by four. This board's secured? It's as good as bad. it's gonna get. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't trust it too much. Okay, hey, hold what you got when we get the bar in. Oh, oh shit. that wood. Uh -huh. right. Lance, grab that bar. Okay. Oh. Well, I'll just make sure that way it doesn't slip. Now you can walk it up. You're an ox. You gotta go a little more. <laughs> we're not quite there. Hang on, we're cocked. I know. Like, we gotta get, hang on, and we don't you know. You need to come back out on your end. Yeah, I can. Towards me. Huh? <laughs> I can't. That's what I was going to Go right here. <laughs> I don't know how okay, 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 we're loose. Okay. I can kick it. Okay. There we go. Now. Now, now, now where's the dial pits? Huh? New light. I'm working on one. Oh shit. Let's just ratchet strap it to there until tomorrow. <laughs> Take pictures of all the way. They're at three. They're at, they're at three and uh, just a little bit south of three. Come to the left. Turn to the left a little bit. You guys gotta clock around quite a bit. Where are the dowel holes? These two? Yeah. Okay. It's gotta go about 20 degrees. Well, let me know what, what you're doing. Where's we're just, direction? We're just spinning it. Yeah. Keep going. So this this pin this hole here needs to come to just below three o'clock. Okay. There. Shit, I'm not budging now. There we go. There we go. You there? Keep going. A little bit more. It's almost there. Keep going. 
You got a screwdriver lens? That would help. Keep going a little bit more. I'm starting to see it now. Okay, we're really close. <laughs> no, Oops. too far. Too far. Oh. There we go. What do you got? Where's the big one of these from yesterday, Kelly? Uh, this is too short. Tim, is it killing me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not killing me, I wouldn't say. <laughs> this go in there? Whoa, you gotta tell me before you do that. <laughs> Cause I want, I'm trying to push forward yeah, at the same time to make sure it doesn't slide out of the this hole. This is what I used before. It works really well. We've got, we've got you wanna take the flashlight? Oh. Which one are you going for? Um, that valve pin is pretty close to lined up. That thing just needs to go in. Yeah. You can probably come down just a hair. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to hit his head. Yesterday, you could, have, you could have pushed the other two ones together for us. Huh? <laughs> okay, let me get a bolt. Let's get a bolt. Deja vu. Alright. There's five bolts. There's some over there. Yeah. You're not even there, are you? Fuck, that ain't even. That's not going to be the right size bolt. No, I need the new ones. The new ones from Luke. Where are they? Or Tyler, the ones that came from home. Were they in the trunk of the car still? I didn't take them out of the trunk, they're still in the trunk. Fine, I'll just hold it. Yeah, is, is anyone here Polish? There's uh -huh. a couple yes. of jokes that can come out of We're here. Polish. <laughs> We're Polish. We're both Polish. So that makes our son the highest concept. No, same concept. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, I'm just trying to drop that jet now. Yep, yep, yep. So don't smash my fingers or my toes, actually. It's not helping. We want the jack out of here? Yeah. There you go. That's helpful, thank you. There's just a bad angle though. He's sitting there with the legs. Okay, go up a little bit. You're starting? Give me one of those real quick so I can get a socket for you. Start? I think so. Yeah. He's doing something. Surely not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the easiest Rolling thing all day long. <laughs> Run all the way off. Yeah, it is it, isn't it? Yeah. They're all in. Can you see the tangs coming through? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thinking an electric gun would help. <laughs> well, I don't know if you want to get on that. Your part. driver? Nothing nearby. Huh? Your impact. And he's got one right there. Three, four. It's a little bit of time, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm. Okay, oh, there we go. We'll figure it out later, but it's on there. Woohoo! Oh, thank you, Tim. Sweet. <laughs> Just pick it up and put it in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to just step it up on a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> put some foot around about it. <laughs> Lift it up and put it in there. He wasn't here the first time it fell off. <laughs> so we discovered part way through the day today that this uh, the flange on here, this is the one from the old transmission. It's part it's just like part of the transmission. It goes into the seal. So we need one like this. This is what goes on the differential. But this, the differential one won't fit because that nut is bigger than the opening in the middle. So Lance has got one of these coming tomorrow. His wife's going to go get it. Uh, that's the correct for this size nut that'll go on there. And then we're going to dry fit it with the drive shaft to make sure the drive shaft fits on there. Got a bunch of reinforcement to add in the back to kind of beef it up where we had to remove part of that bulkhead. And then we'll, it'll get strapped back in on the bottom and then from the sides as well. So how's your week going, Lance? It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank to all the bus grease monkeys out there that have been offering to come down with drinks. Richard up in Wisconsin, thank you. We may take you up on that. If I hear another, uh, hey, Lance. No, it wasn't really like that. It's like, hey, Lance, <laughs> which is universal. If you hear that from Scott, <laughs> keeping it PG. <laughs> if your name's not Lance. <laughs> yeah, if your name's not Lance, you got a bigger problem. <laughs> But that, that is the bus grease monkey's way of saying, we've got a royal problem. <laughs> hey, Lance. <laughs>
So he did it last night. I'm like, please don't tell him. He's like, oh no, no, just give me a rag. <laughs> so, Small yeah, that's how it's good. It's great. You know, it's all good because he's here. <laughs> we had some help. We had help come today, and we've had a lot. Ty Tyler brought down our flywheel. Thank you, Tyler. That was a lot of help. That tree found it. And then yeah. Dave did all my work Huge for me today. <laughs> Tyler said when he got here. <laughs> say it's a. That not only have you lost an anvil, but for a few hours you lost a flywheel? No. <laughs> who, who was working when you got here? Oh, no. him. <laughs> you were sitting on the stool. <laughs> and Lance said, when I got here, Scott was sitting on a stool too. <laughs> but that's all good. I want him rested up, <laughs> with the mind working, <laughs> inspecting, looking at things good. Because clearly I'm not seeing things. <laughs>